This is Jenny Christensen with Friendly Podcasts, brought to you by the Friends Council on Education. In this podcast, Bill Ravden, Advancement Consultant, aims us for success in annual giving. I think there are a couple of topics that, in annual giving that work better than other topics. One of them is students, um, and that means program, and what a school is doing for students, and the other, I think, is teachers. And with teachers, there's a problem. And the problem is that while parents are grateful to teachers for the work they do with their children, my experience is that somewhere deep down in their bottom of their soul, teachers are seen as um, underpaid but perfectly able to go out and work for the four months they're not teaching and make up anything that they um, haven't earned as teachers. And the, the reality is that teachers, by and large, work 12 months a year. They, they are, um, over the summer, they're working on a syllabus, they're taking a graduate course, they're going out to New Mexico to learn about the Hopi Indians because they're going to have uh, a course on the Southwest Indians in the fall. And, <clears throat> and I think parents don't understand that. I'm not even sure that boards understand it. And I, I asked um, a head of the school not so long ago, when was the last time you asked a teacher to come in to an October board meeting and talk to the board for 10 minutes about what the teacher did over the summer in the way of preparing for the students in the fall? And the answer is there are almost no boards that ever see teachers um, as working 12 months a year. And I think that's important. It's important in annual giving. It's important for the health of our school. And it's really important for parents to understand how much time teachers put in to uh, prepare for teaching their child. And so in annual giving, that ought to be an ongoing theme that, um, that exposes parents to the need for schools to pay adequate salaries to teachers. I think the other ongoing theme is kids and their program. And schools, per se, just are not terribly good objects for annual giving. And most people are much less interested in the school than they are in the kids. And I think one of the best uh, direct mail pieces that was ever done in a friend's school was one that uh, Friends Academy in Locust Valley did probably 20 years ago. They put a photographer in a cherry picker and they had all of the kids out on the lawn and the piece was a photograph of the kids and the line below it was something like uh, 829 reasons for giving to Friends Academy, Locust Valley. Thanks for joining us with Friendly Podcasts, brought to you by the Friends Council on Education, produced by Ginny Christensen with Strategy for Growth.